Hi there. I am a huge fan of Infernotice and I wanted to make a video for just to show you how, um, how I use this tool. I just want to point out that I have no affiliation with the company other than being a very happy user and I'm really um, happy for all the hard work Dimitri and his team do to release new features and to, to, to make my workflow much easier. So I'll show you quickly what I do. Um, I'm talking a lot, so it's, pro it's much quicker in real life than me describing it, but it'll be even faster than when you do this. So often for my work, I have to read a lot of documents. This is the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. It is a huge document, and it is... Um, actually, this is not the right one. Sorry, this is the right one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had the wrong one open. Uh, this is the 725 um, uh, full document. This is the bill that was proposed, and, and it's, it's, it's gone through. So... I would normally have to read this entire document and it would um, take a lot of time and I'd miss things. I wouldn't understand like sometimes you miss the trees for the forest because you're just reading sections and you're like 200 pages in and you're understanding each section but you don't see how it's connected to the big picture. But what I do is I download this document and I load it in Infernotice and I've already done it right now. So it takes about like a less than like five seconds and what I can see here, which is really cool, I'm just gonna hide some of the screens because I have a laptop. Um, I can see all the, um, the high level ideas. And if I go to topics, I can um, just expand it. So I can see all the items here, which is incredibly cool. This is like, um, kind of like the, uh, the summary of, the, of a book. I, I can see all the areas, but I can also quickly click on each area to understand how influential it is. Um, and I can see the gaps at a very high level. The gaps are around maybe pharmaceutical taxation and renewable energy, which actually makes sense because if you know the Inflation Reduction Act, these are two separate programs. So without actually being a human being or knowing the, the domain, um, Infernotice is able to find some very interesting and accurate um, items that, that, that mainly domain experts would, would be able to pick up without having to be a domain expert. It's really cool. Um, what you can also do is um, you can sort of like dig in. I sometimes export certain areas to understand what the words are, what the areas are. If you click on a specific area like carbon reduction, I can click on the left hand side here and I can see the statements that are related to it. So it's very interesting to me. It's 60 statements, 3% of the document, yet it's 9% of the topic of the document, which is really, really interesting. It, it shows that it's even though it's not a lot of words, which you could be theoretically missing some of the, the text, um, it's very important because it's interconnected to many ideas. So I, I think this tool is so invaluable to understand the importance. Like, um, I don't know if you meet someone before who like, they might talk about fitness a lot. They might use the word a billion times, but it's not really important to them. This tool would be able to figure that out. But it also is able to figure out those people who like, they don't talk about fitness, but it's very integrated in their life. Similarly, you find the underlying ideas. And if you want to go um, really deeper and um, dig in, you can start to like really explore not just their blind spots, but like trends to understand the type of topics. You can look at like different network stats, which shows you kind of different relationships, different, um, oops, sorry, relationships are here. Um, but you can understand like stats, like such as like how um, dense a network is. There's a lot of interesting data here. Oh, sorry, network structure um, that, that tells you sort of gives you information. Um, really 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 cool uh, one other thing I like to do is I like to go under the surface so I take some of the ideas of like the big ideas and I um, what we do is we hide them and when you hide them it recalculates everything and you start to see sort of how these ideas uh, a deeper ideas start emerging and maybe I want to like start to remove ideas and reconfigure this network so I might say okay you know what I don't really I'm not interested in I don't know cost savings I, it's, it's, I want to go, I want to remove that. And I want to see how the network unfolds and you can really start to explore the network and, and really get these very interesting ideas come out. So sometimes there's some information that's not really relevant, like maybe subsection or paragraphs, like it's, it may just be not part of it. So then I start to like really define it, refine it and dig in and you start to get some really interesting ideas. So now all of a sudden I can look at like grant programs and maybe I'm a clean company. So I can click on, oops, sorry, he fixed this recently. So I can click on grant programs and clean, and then I can go here and look at the text and I can figure out like specifically the areas that, that these are mentioned in. If I can scroll to the top, I can see the most relevant areas and maybe 
these are something that I can react to. I can maybe figure out who to engage to get those credits and things like that. So this gives you a lot of information and we did so much work in under five minutes. I definitely highly recommend this tool. I think the world of the tool and I think the development team is phenomenal. Thank you and um, I hope this helped. See ya.